this video I would like to talk a little bit about a possible synergy between purity and the masculine and the feminine. So we saw in the previous video a little bit how in a way the um, destruction of matriarchal knowledge and skills has made um, purity something of a necessity for women given that they lost the ability to in a way turn their sensitivity and their sensuality into something which is mainly a strength rather than mainly a vulnerability and here the two come together so if we accept that in a way it is the nature of the feminine to be sensitive and to be responsive um, then we also understand that uh, for the feminine to be able to act within that role it needs also uh, a protector something which is indeed guiding it and stabilizing it towards a very pure goal or a very pure mission if you look for instance at how uh, things used to be in the old world so the women were fulfilling a uh, role of very much the caretaker so they would yeah store the food they would prepare the food they would look after the health and the diseases of men they would also look after the sexual needs and desires of men so they were very much the uh, the mother the earth itself which would cater to everything which was necessary um, but this in itself was also a relatively stagnant system because ultimately yeah the men would be like pets just like you would take care of your cat or your dog the women would take care of their men and yeah they would be kept but yeah in a way they would also be regarded as yeah a pet like yes they have their own personality they have their own life they have their own desires uh, but ultimately they're dependent and we are their caretakers and that kind of reversed at a certain point because this yeah, condition of consciousness on this planet was seen as relatively too slow in evolving so in a way the masculine was given a greater role of trying to transform the consciousness through all kinds of new impulses new inventions new initiatives um, which led to a great mingling of religions of cultures and a rapid development of ideas and consciousness um, in the beginning this was not such a problem because those men uh, were yeah still being supported and counseled uh, by wise women who were in a way choosing uh, yeah which impulse uh, they would support so even though the men started to play a larger role ultimately the women decided when it was time for which impulse to manifest upon the earth the problems in a way started uh, when men stopped being guided and in a way became impure and just allowed their own drive to fulfill their mission to dominate them rather than being invited by others now is the time for you to take up your mantle of responsibility and then also men started to fight amongst themselves like who yeah who would carry out their mission first whose mission is more important and then it started to yeah go into a basically in a large chaos um, and a yeah fight for power and ultimately power is the in a way result of fear of uncertainty if you are in doubt whether you will get the chance or you will be able to fulfill your mission well then you start gathering power you start gathering influence you start gathering status and lots of other things to be able to carry out your mission so in a way this system of 
um, women deciding which masculine impulse it was now time for to manifest itself. Uh, the men created their own system of deciding which impulse would manifest by basically competing with each other. And ultimately the person who had uh, the greatest skill in acquiring power would manifest. Well, we'll see where that has led us. <laughs> um, because, yeah, skill is not purity. And um, often the, the, the women were seen as a tool to power. So they would bring status, they would bring riches, they would bring support by, in a way, other men connected to that woman. So they became, in a way, tools for the masculine game of uh, achieving power. And women also started to lose their role as the one who would yeah, guide and harmonize and purify uh, their man. So ultimately, it became a very um, yeah, competitive uh, place and the awareness became more and more individualized rather than looking at what does the earth need. It is like, what is my role? What is my part? Which is also natural for the masculine. And unfortunately, women started to get pulled into that. So they also started to individualize their role like oh i want my man to succeed or my son or my brother or my father or my partner rather than looking at yeah what does society need what does the earth need so they became also dragged into this individuality but because women are by nature sensitive they also retained some sensitivity for the needs of others for the needs of society the needs of plants and animals and often because they spoke out of the need of society and plants animals uh, and nature uh, that men with power started to see them as a threat because ultimately they were being criticized their power base was being undermined by women who were not showing their support for them and this is in a way how the by then patriarchal society started to turn against women who were still fulfilling their original roles so then in a way a selection started to happen from where the women who had in a way forgotten their power and lost their purpose became idealized and women who were still fulfilling their purpose became hunted as witches or um, troublemakers or things like that so ultimately the yeah you could say the uh, twisting of men also created a twist within the feminine line as we know this is not a very good or healthy condition and this twist has happened in some societies more than in others um, but other societies have also maintained an awareness of the power and the role uh, of women and they are still allowed to fulfill that role much more and i think also those societies can help the rest of the world and the women of the rest of the world to heal and ultimately i hope that those healed women will form a power strong enough also to force a change within the patriarchy so that men will once again listen to the needs of the world, of the needs of society, the needs of um, the animals and the plants over their own specific drive to fulfill their mission. <clears throat> so men need to learn to be modest, to sacrifice themselves. But if they do that in the current society, it is just setting themselves up for failure by not achieving enough status, not achieving enough power to be able to fulfill their purpose. So men find themselves in a very difficult situation where either they can be ineffectual or they can be impure. And most men choose 
to be impure rather than ineffectual because even if you're impure other men will respect you even the tainted fallen women who have chosen the path of purity will look up to you because you uh, are in a way uh, also sexually attractive you have got position you've got status you have success and therefore in their fallen state they will also see you as a good provider as a good partner because yeah you will also create children who will have success so they're all dragged into this illusionary state into this fallen impure state and the women who are themselves also fallen will support the unfallen men so we need a kind of a counter movement of the men who do achieve purity and the women who are in a way seeing that purity in a man is a very valuable asset and a very desirable asset so that even though the men may not have as much power or status that what they achieve doesn't carry the seeds of its own destruction in it and that therefore what they achieve will have a much stronger and longer lasting effect than these yeah, great victories which are in a way yeah, corrupted already in their inception so we need to in a way start to value uh, the deeper things the longer term things and to for us men to value the purity which is necessary as a precondition to achieving that and also finding the women who see that in the pure man and who will therefore also support the pure man and not support the impure man and i think for women it is easier to make that transition into reclaiming that wisdom of listening to the earth listening to the trees to the animals through yeah society in general because it is their nature to hear and if they open up allow the voice and the needs of the nature to impress upon them they can respond to it by a process of self-transformation so i think that in this change women will have to lead the way first by transforming themselves and then in a way uh, forcing or guiding that transformation into the patriarchy so that the patriarchy will go back to its original purpose of leading the world forward by ultimately serving what the women tell them what needs to be served or the feminine tells them what needs to be served so you could say that the men are in a way the ammunition they are ready to be fired and they want to be fired they want to manifest their power to achieve their goals but that ammunition has to be timed guided and aimed by the feminine who is in a way aware of the needs of the world and then in a way releases the right man at the right place at the right time to create that transformation to create that change and this is in a way the harmony of the masculine and the feminine interweaving with each other supporting each other so it is very difficult in a way to get past the the judgments and the stereotypes because for a woman to do this to really be able to sense there is a sense of intimacy of opening them up themselves up to the other to the men maybe to several men who they're guiding or uh, being influenced by and to do that without losing themselves and this old knowledge in a way of how women used to take care of society and all the men in society is something which needs to be reclaimed they need to feel and realize that they are fulfilling several archetypes at the same time the woman is on the one hand the judge who looks at things from the perspective of society of nature of the world and cuts off destroys 
what is harmful and supports and raises what is necessary. And there are also the mother, who is in a way feeding, nurturing, supporting, protecting, guiding all this growth and development, both in themselves, in other women, in animals, in nature, in men. They are the driving force, they are the power. They have to give their power and the more they give, the more powerful they themselves also can become. As long as they do not waste their power. Because their power is replenished depending on their results. So if you throw pearl before swine, if you waste your energy on a man or a situation which cannot use your power, then your power is diminished. But if you give your power and it is multiplied by that man, then also your own power will increase. So you have to find supporting which people empowers you. Because if you are fulfilling your purpose, you will also be supported in your role of supporting. And this way you can, in a way, climb collectively. And this is very different from the individual Lies the contests you have where in a way you try to push each other out of place. So it is not a zero-sum game where only one person can be on top. It is a cooperative game where everybody can rise together. So it's very important for women to realize this, that sharing is natural and that there is no such thing as a zero-sum game within the feminine cosmos. While well, this is true within the masculine cosmos, there can be only one CEO, but there can be many winners. It's also important for the women to, in a way, really guide the masculine development, because women in are or should be the embodiment of the ideal the man should strive for. Because the man will always be attracted to the feminine because they need its power, they need its support, they need its acceptance. Without that, the man is just in frustration, in illusion, if the feminine does not respond to him. But what is that feminine that he will do his best to attain, by, which makes him willing to transform himself. And if indeed the feminine shows, like, you need to be this, you need to be pure, your love needs to be pure, you need to be willing to sacrifice yourself, you need to be willing to let go, to achieve your goal, for your love to be pure, for your to be able to love me. And that can in a way drive the transformation of the masculine if women are truly demanding of purity in the masculine rather than having this negative relationship with purity because it harms them. So purity should not be in a way misapplied by women to themselves but it should be applied towards men to guide them to where they need to go, where they need to be. And this is the role of the feminine, to help those men to achieve that purity. And it is the role of the women to accept the men, even though they are not there yet, even though they're still impure, to love them so they can connect with them. And through that acceptance and respect, and support allow them to grow towards where they need to be until ultimately they become ready to fulfill a function in the world. So once again I would like to express my thanks to uh, my benefactor Josh whose donations have made this little series possible and thanks to his donations I will also be making a another series but this is the first. I hope you all enjoyed it and will benefit from it and share it. Thank you.